me see what you're working with. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah, you did your thing with these. Yo, what's good? Nothing, man. I'm chilling. I just got worried that Ruck was gonna give me my own shoes for the chip deal athlete. That's that's what's up, that's what's up. I know I was trying to see if you could customize something for me. Facts, we can do that, we can do that. What you wanna do with them? You know I gotta highlight my, my partnership with Ruffles and also, you know, show some love to my hometown in St. Louis. And I gotta make them flaming hot for us, Ruffles flaming hot barbecue for me. Oh, that's easy. We can definitely do that. When you need them, by? Man, I'm really going on vacation next week, so I was trying to see if I could get them before then. I'm gonna get you saucy for vacation. Okay, we can do that. Send them out my way. Appreciate it. Already. For Jason, we're gonna customize a pair of Jordan 1 Lows with the white University red black colorway. Smooth leather sets the stage for the silhouette signature design details throughout the upper. Braining across the throat and heel indulged in a rich University red like some of the most iconic Jordans. Underfoot, Outsoles follow suit in the scarlet hue resembling those pairs from 1985. This is the perfect pair to use for a ruffles design as it already has that red base layer and trim around the sock liner and etc. And it'll be perfectly blended into the full ruffles bag design I'm gonna place on the shoe. All right, so I just got off the phone, got off the FaceTime with my guy Jason. He just gave me the lowdown on what we're gonna do with these bad boys right here. Now, of course, he wants to highlight his partnership with Ruffles. Gotta get some St. Louis in there. And of course, they've gotta be flaming hot, just like his favorite chips. So, we're gonna go ahead and put the nice blue chip bag print. We're gonna put it right around the toe caps here. Uh, might even run up the side here, I'm not exactly sure yet. Then we're gonna put a nice fire flame print on the back here to really get that flaming hot feel. And then I'm gonna get JT's logo, St. Louis logo on the back heels, because of course you gotta get that hometown touch and they gotta be personal for my boy. And then we're gonna put that black bag print they have there with the wavy fire lines right over the swoosh here to kind of incorporate everything, get everything tied in together and make a nice clean shoe. So I think it's time to go hit the studio and get to it. All right, so we just got to the studio here. It's time to get rolling. All right, so now that I got the shoes down here, first step is actually gonna be a little different than normal because I actually don't need any tape for this pair. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull the laces out, prep them with some acetone so we make sure the paint holds and get to business. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the actual blue first layer on. Custom mix on this one here. Make sure we get the right color, match that bag. Unlike what most people think, sometimes you gotta come in here and you gotta mix certain colors to kind of get where you gotta get. Go off a little bit, so I'm gonna darken that up. You know, there's not one size fits all for everything, so sometimes you gotta kind of get in here and mix your own colors to get that perfect blend, especially when you're doing branded work that really needs to match, you know, that signature iconic look that the bag already has. So we're just gonna make sure we get that pretty close, as close to perfect as we can get it. We don't have any tape down. So all these gotta be a little bit more precise. Make sure we don't get nothing where we don't want it. Now this is pretty unusual for our uh, normal episodes here, if you've been paying attention. Uh, I don't think we've ever done an episode where I didn't actually have to tape the shoe, where we're gonna get away with it this time because we're gonna be putting on our shoes in basically color blocked sections. So I'm not gonna be really using too much airbrush on this pair. So I don't really need to cover the bottoms or the soles or anything else that we would normally wanna not get any overspray on, so it's all good and hand painted on, so should be pretty simple, pretty easy, and a little bit of a different process than you're used to. All right, so now that we've got our blue section color blocked in, it's time to go ahead and lay this print in over top of it so we get that real ruffled feel. So we're gonna do everything on this shoe hand painted for this part. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the colors I need to mix together. Just gonna go ahead and do that. Hop into it, so a little snack break. The tricky part with this and not doing it with a stencil is that when you do it with a stencil, it's obviously all gonna be one exact spray on coat and everything goes on even and smooth and yada yada. So I'm gonna have to do it a little bit more creative here and try to keep everything as smooth as possible. It's like it looked like it came that way from the store, so 
just gonna make sure everything is smooth and close to the surface as possible. Trying to do all the lines in one take is pretty crucial. So now I'm just continuing the pattern because if you look closely on the bag, the lines actually connect from the blue section down to the black section. So I'm just go ahead and adding in our Call this our spicy pattern with our dark red and our you know darker orange as well to kind of get that fire pattern going before we put the actual flames on the back. All right, so I finished the freehand section on the shoe, so now I gotta go ahead and get just a couple of logos we need to put on here. I need to get those cut on the stencil machine. So we've got the stencils cut. All we're gonna be doing with these is placing our Ruffles logo for one, which is gonna go right here over top of the tongue. Then we've got our Flaming Hot, of course, because these shoes are gonna be Flaming Hot. So they're gonna have to go right on the side there, give it a nice like PE feel. Then we've got our heat transfer sections right here, which are gonna lay our flames in around the back heel caps. So should be pretty dope. Just gotta get it cut out, stuck on. So having to mask off the actual area we need to cover with our heat transfer section. R for our right shoe. The heat transfers are just basically a piece of fabric paper that I get um, that you can actually use your regular printer to print an image on and print it out and actually stick it to the you know, whatever surface you want to stick it to. Works perfectly for some areas of shoes. For this right here, for doing realistic flames on the back of a shoe, this is the quickest, fastest, and easiest way to add this on there. Make sure he gets what he needs to get on his logos, on the print, and we really reflect that, you know, flame and hot style. So you can obviously ruin a shoe doing this. If you don't have everything laid out exactly how it needs to be laid out, if you, you know, put something on that's the wrong size and you gotta try to rip it off. But also you gotta be careful for, you know, the iron itself will leave scratch marks in the ink here. If you don't use like a cover sheet like this or something like that, much easier to be careful as you go. All right, so now that we've got our print on, our heel tabs here, as you can see, they're all flamed out. Flaming hot as usual. So we're just gonna throw these logos on the back here. Um, one, just to tie in, of course, his St. Louis roots, and of course, make it a little bit more personal for him. So, always a nice touch. And then we will move on to the actual painted logos. So we're gonna throw these on these insoles right here, just on the heel print, so when he sticks his foot in, he sees it. You know, gotta get something to go along with that flaming Hot barbecue flavor. All right, so now just time for the stencils. We got to paint on the shoe, so we just got to put ruffles on the tongue and put our flaming hot on the midsole, and we're good to go. Just finished up doing the Ruffles logo, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add on the Flamin' Hot logo. And of course, my signature Serato logo to finish it up. Now we got everything on there, it's just time to put the finisher on and lace them back up. Just adding this chili pepper hang tag just to seal the deal. All right, now let's get these boxed up and get them all over to my guy, Jason, down in Boston. To start off, Ruffles is about owning your ridges, owning what makes you who you are. And for Jason, that's owning his roots in St. Louis. So I put the JT and St. Louis logos on the heels 
St. Louis means barbecue and heat, so I added a little flair for the flaming hot barbecue flavor. Flames on the swoosh and back of the shoe with a red hot pepper tag hanging from the laces. Finally, I pulled in that classic Ruffles blue with big zigzags to the front of the shoe and Ruffles on the tongue. Chef's kiss. All right, I just pulled up to Boston. Just got to the spot. So it's time to go inside, see what JT thinks of these right here. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Yo, my God. Jay, what's good, bro? So much. What's up, Gregory? What you got for me? Got you. Very own one of one Jay's here. You know, to celebrate your partnership, you need to do a ruffle. So then it came out kind of hot, but I gotta see what you think. You see what you're working with. Mm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did your thing with these. Had to add some, you know, touches for you. Make sure you got the St. Louis connection. Got the JT on the back for you. Make sure it was, it was icy hot, you know. Got to get a JT on there. For sure, so, red bottom. You know, yes, sir, but I also made them, you know, they're clean enough that you can still rock them, you know, regular fits and stuff too, so. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, so these came fire. Out. Yeah, great. Oh, man, appreciate yes, it. Sir. And just for y'all, I'm making a second pair of these custom Jason Tatum Ruffles kicks so y'all can match the heat on JT's feet. Stay tuned for a chance to win a pair of these. All right, so I just finished dropping the shoes off of my guy Jay. I think he really loved them, so I consider my job done. On to the next one. Your boy's back to Baltimore. Y'all swear y'all could guard me. I don't think so. Y'all need to watch these videos though right here and subscribe. Then maybe you could guard me.